Yo, it's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected, 93.7 WBLK, the blackout and all that, and I got the homie Dirty O in the building, what's yes, good? Yes, sir, what's good with you, man? Cool and cool, it's about time we finally got a chance to, to chop it up. Okay? Yeah, long ever do, man, I think we both been working though, so it makes definitely, sense. Definitely, definitely, definitely seeing you uh, making some moves out there. Um, for the people that's going to be listening, just uh, give them a little uh, background uh, about you as far as like, where you're from and all that. Uh, man, I'm from uh, Niagara Falls, New York, you know, upstate, 716, man. Uh, I've been grinding for a minute, you know, doing this music. It's just like we come from the streets, man. So, you know, we put all of that into our music. Uh, man, it's just a real grind with this, man. Okay, cool. How long have you uh, been doing music for? Uh, I say I've been writing music since about 16. You know what I mean? It came from, uh, you know, basically uh, like my passion for just writing, period. And then it just turned into music once I got a hold of hip hop. You feel what I'm saying? So since about 16, I've been uh, writing, but I say I've been chasing this grind and the dream seriously for about the last five, six years, though. Oh, okay, cool. How many, um, do you have any other uh, projects out, like mixtapes, videos, anything like that out? Yeah, well, I got a lot of content on YouTube. Um, you know, it's a few things on World Star. Uh, most of the main uh, hip hop platforms, like All Hip Hop and Hip Hop Weekly, you know, yeah. uh, you can find a lot of my music there. But for now, it's mostly, um, you know, YouTube, because I've been doing like a single run where everything I drop is a single and it's a video attached to it, you know what I mean? Okay, cool. That's smart. Give them the visual, too. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. man. How did you uh, come up with the name Dirty O? Like, what is that? Does that have a meaning? Uh, well, you know, it came from a few things, man. It came from, you know, friends clowning, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> it came from a lot of things. But I remember uh, it was a documentary on Harry O, which is uh, from L.A., you know what I mean? That's kind of where the O came from. The dirty part came from my friends, and I kind of just, you know, combined them together, you know what I mean? Okay, cool, cool. Right. Who were some of your uh, inspirations like that as far as, like, starting music? Who was, like, the, the artist that kind of made you want to start doing it? Well, it's weird because, you know, I started off with, like, rock and roll. You know, my mother white, you know, so uh, I started off with the Bon Jovi's and the Metallica's and that's how I grew up until I was about like 10. And then that's when I grabbed on the hip hop for real. So I'll say Jay-Z was like a big influence, Nas, uh, Biggie, Pac, you know what I mean? The the real core of hip hop to me is them right there, you know what I mean? Okay, cool. Another question I like, I like to ask artists too, as far as like bigger Pac, who is your, your, your favorite artist between the two? Uh, it's tough, man. I, I go I go Pac, though. I gotta go Pac, go man. Pac, yes. Yeah, nothing to do with the movie, though. It ain't nothing to do with the movie coming out, you know what I mean? But uh, I just think, you know, uh, what he did, like, even when they broke him down, when, yeah. they, when they say the movie, they say rapper, actor, yeah. Activist You know what I'm saying Poet Like so you know That just lets you know Like if you can start off As a rapper And get all those titles yeah. Like you doing something Like you know what I mean He was very powerful though Yeah definitely He did more Like you said Did more than just, just rap That's actually my uh, my. I think he's the To, to me he, Tupac is my is the, I think the best artist of all time. My favorite artist is Joe Budden. Right. Tupac is like the Joe Budden. <laughs> I fuck with Joe. I fuck with Joe. That's, I never hear a lot of people say Joe Budden though. Yes, because they always think of the, the, the pump it up. Like, right. They can pump it up and just judge them off for that. Right. But like with uh, like with Tupac, like the, the difference between like Tupac and Big. Like honestly, I didn't really listen to like I grew up in a um, like in a Christian home, so we couldn't listen to like hip hop. Oh, like word. That. So I used to sneak to my cousin's house and listen like Tupac, the different stuff like that. So I didn't really listen to Biggie until after he died. But Tupac really just gave you like a, he was more than an artist. He gave you like that that feeling, like almost like a like a young Jeezy or one of those type of artists. Right. You could actually feel what, he, yeah. what he's saying. It wasn't just that he was so because he wasn't like the most lyrical artist, whatever else like that. Right. He wasn't the most streetish artist like that. But when he did spit, he was able to to to, to, to touch you, you that that type right. Of you could feel it. Yeah, yeah like like you saying, you know, I mean, you could feel his music, man. Like you know, when you're going through something, you throw that Pac on. Definitely. You know, he'll help you out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's hell, a fact. Hell yeah, hell right. yeah. So like with the um with the singles and the music that you uh w that you put out. I like the ask artists also too Like do you Do you write a song first And do you try to find a beat To go with it Or do you find a beat And then kind of write the song To go after that uh, I think sometimes The process is always different You know what I mean Sometimes I can sit down And throw a beat on And I, I can catch an idea Right then and there oh, cool. You know uh, Sometimes I throw a beat on And I won't catch it That same day yeah. But you know Three four days later I guess I got a different mood Maybe or a different yeah. feeling And then I can come up With something You know what I mean oh, cool. Or sometimes it's like R&B artists involved Or you know Somebody A member from my little crew Fourth the north that uh, already have a hook ready or something you know what i mean and and then we just attack the song that way sometimes okay like you said earlier you're from niagara falls so what's the uh for the people that may not know what's the what's the music scene that's out in niagara falls as far as that 
I mean, everybody, everybody, uh, for the most part, is pretty much competitive. You know what I mean? I think uh, we need to be more supportive. Yeah. And then we wouldn't even have to ask questions about what is Niagara Falls or what the artist is like. You know what I mean? Because uh, we will move more as a unit. But I think it's a lot of talent there. It's a lot of dope artists coming up. Um, it's a lot of dope artists that's been doing it. But it's just the exposure is so small for us. You know, it's hard to break through in the industry if you're in New York. So, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Being in Niagara Falls, which is smaller, makes it that much tougher. But I think it's a lot of uh, unheard talent in Niagara Falls, man. It's just... They gotta uh, want it more, you know what I'm saying? Another thing too, like, and I, I don't, I don't have an answer for this either, but like, have your input on it. Like, how can, how can an artist and like, when I, like, when I say like this area as far as upstate New York, I include Buffalo, Rochester, Niagara Falls, right. pretty much all the, pretty much all the same. We're your neighbors, right? How, how can we get people to want to support? Uh, independent artists or local artists more. I guess um, I guess it would have to come through actions. You know what I mean? I guess it would have to come through maybe a group of people or an individual person that. Uh, can reach a certain level of, of like popularity or something yeah. and still show his support you know what I mean because oh, okay. I think uh, you know right now if everybody in the same bucket you know what I mean we like the crabs in the barrel yeah. you know what I mean we pulling each other down trying to get over the top mm-hmm. so I think until somebody actually clears the top you know what I mean and then yeah. come back and show that love I don't think people are gonna believe it I think you got to see it to believe it yeah. so I think like right now you know uh, Benny West Side Gun Conway you know I think yeah, they in definitely. a good position you know definitely not saying that. that yeah not saying that they got to come to Niagara Falls or yeah. even certain parts to Buffalo but you know just make sure that the light is shed back our way since that's where they come from you know what I'm that, saying that's one of the things that I and you you totally right about that too that's that's kind of my, my 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 vision for the same thing too like with them if you look at any of the uh, interviews or anything that they do they don't just say New York they always say yo Buffalo I come from Buffalo give them like a little uh, background of different stuff about Buffalo right. like when you look at artists like I guess they say like Brian McKnight is from Buffalo something uh-huh. that. like we would have never known that we don't know that <laughs> right. even with like and they, and they killed me at the radio when I told them that's like honest to God on my daughter I didn't know Rick James was a real person into a three. I thought it was just a character. Oh, 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 okay. Like, it's, it's, it's great. <laughs> and he's from here, right? Yeah, he's from here. Right, too. right. And like, I was just like, oh, you mean uh, I, I smoke? Uh, the, 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 what you call it? Do smacking people and shit on Chicago? Like, no, that's a real person. He's from Buffalo. I've never heard him right. before. That's one thing I respect. Like, and I think that's what's going to help break open the door too. Like how they're they're. I wouldn't say that they're totally on. They did sign a deal and they're getting on. But right. every interview, they're always shouting out Buffalo. They're wearing something Buffalo. Buffalo that's really, right. That's really shedding light there. And I think that's like you said. That's what, that's what it's going to take. Uh, they're getting exposed like that. So other labels and other fans like that too. Come on, yo, they just like, dope. Let me check out some other artists. Right, well. right. Because so, the talent got to come from somewhere, yeah. right? You know what I mean? So I think this is like the perfect time for local artists from this area, Buffalo, Rochester, Niagara Falls, to really just go hard because there's a lot of talent here. It's just right. kind of hard to, to get it broken because people are not really supportive. We come from a city where it's like, it's so much failure, so many like broken promises and stuff like that. You got to actually see somebody that make it. So when you see them right. going on Hot Night 7, see them going on Shade 4 or 5 like that, they still shot in the city, that inspires somebody else to keep going. Over right, that. right. So I definitely think that's a, um, that's a good move. That's a fact. Um, what, what projects are you working on now? You got anything that's... that's uh, yeah, right now, it's still, you know, I'm still on a single route, you know, but I'm just trying to, uh, you know, I'm networking as I, uh, you know, promote music. I got a crazy catalog that's already built up, maybe about 80 songs deep, like, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. So, but, um, you know, it's some good features on there i got a uh, kevin gates feature uh, that's gonna drop um probably this summer uh we got the benzino feature you know and we in talks with a lot of other big artists like you know what i mean so uh this summer is just gonna be crazy uh, all the grind that i've been doing is just going uh, it's time to show the work now you know what i mean definitely that benzino drink was dope too yeah. i haven't heard anything from benzino in a while but when i heard that drink on the right. record i was like yeah yeah I for, yeah, yeah no I like doubt yeah it was a it was a dope vibe to sit down and kick it with him like i did you know what i mean and for all the the uh wisdom he got from the game you feel what i'm saying like being that you know they ran the source i mean you know just sitting down and picking his brain was just like another step up for me to you know what i mean chase what i'm chasing and to know that i could do it you feel what i'm saying okay and like like you said you had the um i know we were talking how you got the, the feature with benzino you got the one with kevin gates coming up and i know we had talked outside earlier about you got you had a, a older song with the artist tone trump like, yeah how hard was it to to get those people one songs like that because it was some pretty major people right uh Donald trump is, is is big he was signing the jeezy like kevin gates is huge right Benzino was I mean, legendary. And, and that's crazy, you know, because we're going to take it back to like when we was talking as well. It was uh, relations, you know what I mean? Relationships with people, you feel what I'm saying? Like that is a big part of the game. Like, you know what I mean? So, uh, Tone Trump happened through uh, a good friend and a, a journalist of mine named Mikey T, the movie star. You know, shout out Mikey T, of course. And, you know, he made the Tone Trump thing happen as far as the, uh, the verse and the video. And it, Tone Trump was an official dude, you know what I'm saying? I actually got to go to uh, live. We was in live together with oh, Trump. <laughs> he, he ain't did nothing. 
saying? But showed me some love. You feel what I'm saying? So, man, there's much respect for Tone Trump, man. Uh, same thing with Benzino. You know, it's just like the grind. Once you start grinding and, and reaching certain levels and meeting certain people, you know, different doors open up. Yeah. And it's just mainly on you to either be in that position to do it or not. You know what I mean? So, yeah. a lot of these is just opportunities that I don't prepare myself for. So, you know, when they come, I'm on it. And see, for the people that's listening, I, I know I say this all the time, but you hear it from an actual artist that building relationships and networking is important. Yeah. So I tell like a lot of artists from this area, like a lot of times they say like, well, in Atlanta, they support artists more. They do more of like that. And like just being realistic, like in the South, like that, a lot of those artists, like a lot of those street artists had street money. So they had enough money to, right. to go into these clubs and just do different shit like that. So if you ain't got the bread, the only thing that's equivalent to you having the bread to doing that is building relationships like that. Like I'll be more prone to have an interview with somebody or play somebody wreck like that just off of a, a genuine uh, relationship as opposed right. to here I want to pay you for this like, right. like, you can't pay me to play your record I don't care if it's the hottest record I'm right, right. Like, <laughs> you just sending me a record like I, I get so many emails where it's just like it's a blank email no subject line it just says track number two it's not titled right. like, that. like yo play this drink it's the hottest drink now I don't know who you are <laughs> right in that presentation they, they, they need to worry about that too you know how you present your music is important to anybody yeah, you yeah. know whether it's a local DJ or a customer yeah. or if it's Diddy you know what I mean yeah. it should look the same you should want to present it the same you know what I mean definitely definitely Definitely. And in that same sense, so like you said, yo, it, and it's weird because in some in some situations, you will see the relationships outdo the bread. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. you see somebody walk past you, you talk about you got a thousand dollars, and somebody <laughs> walking right by you trying to do the same thing you doing, he do it for free. You know what I mean? And that's Hell just yeah. because of the relationship he built. Yeah, Word. definitely. Um, another thing I like to ask um, artists too is um, right now, if you could choose between signing to a major label or staying independent, uh, which one would you do and why? Oh, man, I'm always a little mixed between that because it's like I want the machine from the uh, the, la the label, the major label, you know what I mean? Because the, the machine is serious yeah. and, you know, they can put you in situations that it take years for independent artists to do. But now that I've been grinding for like I have for these last six years independently, you know what I mean? That I know, like, I'd rather go the route that I'm going, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Only, yeah, because of the publishing, because of the, you know, the, the, the things that a lot of artists don't even care to think of right now that's important down the line which is the business aspect a lot of people just want the fame and the money and you know what i mean they don't care about the longevity or they publishing something that's actually more important you know what i mean most artists don't even know what publishing is they right like, oh you got a hundred racks me right now cool i'll sign this 12 album deal y'all get a hundred percent of publishing <laughs> right right and then once the first album flop they go into the shelf they could be on that shelf for a long time you know what i mean definitely so i mean i understand it both ways like me personally like like um i started i was, I was rapping first before i came a dj before i did radio like that and just with i don't know because i've just been in, in in the industry for so long like i'd be more prone to go with a with a major because it's like I don't, I don't, like, I've been on BOK for almost, like, probably like 11 years now. Oh, okay. Like right. So, if a major or something like that came to me, like, yo, we got, we got a million dollar advance for you right now, da da da, but if I could have did an independent, maybe you made five million. It's like, I've been grinding so long, but right. I'd rather just get that brand now invested and try to try to do something else. But I mean, it's smarter to do it independent. Right. At the end of the day, you could be like an artist, like, say, for example, like a uh, Mac Miller. Or right. Stay independent. <laughs> Crazy. 29 million I already made a year That was right. crazy man. Or even like like Tech 9 Most people don't know Who Tech 9 is right. He's like Probably richer than All of our Yeah rappers. Joey Badass You yeah. know Just the people like that You know yeah. uh, Even What's the one They said Nipsey Hustle, I think it was yeah, He just opened up a, uh, I think he bought Like the end of the whole block Like a whole It was like a corner I just watched a documentary Too on uh, On World Star It was like a uh, Like a Old gas station or Like one of them like, You know we got like Little plazas Yeah yeah that. It was like one of them joints Where they used to hustle In front of like that And they opened up Like a, a t-shirt joint and his brother went to jail and then they wind up taking a t-shirt and we got back out they invested and bought like the whole the, the whole, whole plaza, truck, yeah, the whole plaza. <laughs> So they right. he invested that money back in. So you might not hear so much music from him like that, but he invested back into his community. And like they moving. Yeah. They said he I sold us. He was selling the CDs for a thousand dollars a piece. Yeah, I couldn't believe that. That's crazy. It sold them. Jay Z <laughs> right. bought like fifty copies. You're right. There you go. Man. Right. But that just shows you like imagine what he put into it. Like yeah. what we talking about. He, he didn't have track one written on the top. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> everything from the flyer all the way down to the production was probably yeah. a plus. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it mattered. Like hell yeah. And like with the um. With like your, uh like the projects that you put out, how do you come up with the? Um, I know this is probably like an odd question, but how do you come up like with the names of the projects that you put like a mix it like that? Do they have like a, a meaning behind it? Or? Yeah, I'm always being conscious about most of the times when I put together something. So um, I, I had like a, I got a story to tell, and then you know even the track listing was a story. You know, oh. like every name was a, a story. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, then I did. Uh, 
called the Dirty Empire, and we had the whole road to the Dirty Empire, which was the whole process of us making it. Oh. You know, so it was always something uh, along the, the the journey or making the CD that where you come up with them titles. You know what I mean? Yeah. Same thing with the songs too. I think you make the song first, and then you name it after. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? And another, I know you said you wanted to uh, the, to go like the independent route, but if you did choose a major, which label? Like if you had to choose a major, which label would you go with, and, and why? I, I think I would rather go with an artist, though. I would rather sign to an artist than a major right like i would rather uh go with somebody that probably already know the ropes a little bit mm-hmm. so like if you hear something like a, a dreamville with j cole or ovo with drake mm-hmm. you know what i mean something like that is what i would like to do is like oh. go to another artist and then have them middleman my situation oh, okay. you know what i'm saying as long as paperwork right mm-hmm. and then you know go through it that way because they probably already know the game as opposed to i mean it's no telling nowadays you know you sit down across the wrong person everything <laughs> look good like you said you know you'd be done signed your life away you know what i'm saying hell yeah right I, think, I mean yeah that's a, that's a good thing i think as far as like with the um me my only thing with signing to an artist it has to it, i would feel like it would have to be an artist that's like say like a drake where he he doesn't have to worry about still trying to put his cell phone right he can invest money in you or right the only really label that i see that's that, that would be an artist that really their artists like flourish like they are, are successful would be like a ross you know, like rick ross even though he's Focus on his own music. Right. Meek Mill's putting out music, getting bread. Wale is putting out music, getting right. bread. They're still signing other people or like that. But um, another artist that I mean, another like artist that I will probably sign. So people probably say you stupid would be Diddy or like that. A lot of times, I think Diddy. You going with Diddy? I think I would go with Diddy. <laughs> you really think about it, like every artist has been with Diddy at the time had crazy bread and what they did once they like got dropped or right. do everything else like that was a different story, but. They all look happy when when they when they when they with Diddy. I wouldn't want to go to like a, a cash money and be like a, and there's no diss like be like a, a Jay Mills or a Tiger like that where you right. have a label for ten years, you never put out an album. Right, right. Never put out a they become writers more than likely on the label, you know what I mean? Yeah. They contribute in somewhere, but it's like you said, it, it's not what you signed up for, yeah. you know what I mean, in the beginning. And that, that writing money is really where it's at. Like you oh, get yeah. more money off of writing, but me, I just don't like and I was watching the interview, I forgot where it was, they were saying like how um Back in the days, people would write songs. They didn't want like they didn't want the, the notoriety for writing the song. But now it's like if you write a song for somebody, you get in a club and everybody getting lit to this song. Right. Like, they only know the artist. They don't know that you wrote the song. So right. you might not can't even get in the club. You're like, yo, I wrote all your favorite <laughs> artist songs. And they're like, who are you? Right. Like that. Right. But it's definitely definitely money in that. Uh, yeah, in they that say record. Young Berg is real big on the hits right now. Writing, you know, the Dream Neil people like that. They writing mm-hmm. a lot of stuff we hear. Who's your, uh, your your favorite producer? Producer right now, man, I would have to go with. Ah, uh, man, it's tough. I like a lot of different sounds, man. Mike Will's dope. Yeah. Um, you know, Mike Zombie, Zaytoven. You know what I mean? Um, even some of my own personals, like Tony Trouble. You know what I mean? Tunes. He's definitely dope. Right. You know what I mean? Like them, them my people right there for real. So, but yeah, um, I like. I like Drake production. I like J. Cole production. I, I think J. Cole do a lot of his own producing as well. Yeah. So, you know, like, those is my type of sounds with that open space where you can oh, actually okay. get an ideal off on the beat. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not really the club club type. Every yeah. time I go, I'm not going for the single every time. I don't want the home run. You know what I'm saying? Every time. <laughs> I can eat your own my situation yeah. and get a 40,000 hits if I want. That's what I want. You know what I mean? As opposed to those one or two here and there. What's your, uh, what's your, your favorite beat of all time? Beat? Oh, man. That's be tough. I like... Uh, What's the Jada Kiss one? The solo on Money Power Respect. Turn the juice up in my headphones. That's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a tough one. Uh, and uh, Jay Z, can I live? Oh yeah, that was the right, one too. right. My favorite drink. I like uh, Renegade. Like, Renegade. Even without the words, you're listening to the instrumental. Yeah, Renegade, that to get you angry. Like you just like yeah. Like <laughs> Ever it. since they rapped on it, it's been hard to rap on it though. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, I, that'd be fire though. Definitely right. Um, as far as the people that's listening like that, where can they where can they find you as far as like social media, different stuff like that? Oh, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, it's all at dirty o four two n. Um, you know, Facebook, you find it through those uh social medias, YouTube, uh same thing, dirty o man. You just search me up. Uh, you're gonna find me somewhere. If not, I'll be on your telephone pole on a poster <laughs> or something, man. So you're gonna see a little kid with a snotty nose with my flyer, man, because we're gonna be grinding all summer, man. Definitely. And like um besides the music, like do you have any um like plans as far as like uh maybe like getting into like realty or opening clubs restaurants different stuff like that yeah yeah we actually uh you know got some investments now at uh the shock lounge which is in niagara falls you know it's a couple parties uh but we're gonna have a grand opening in july it look like and uh so i'm already in a few uh things like that you know i'm uh i'm investing into hip-hop weekly the magazine oh, okay. so it's like um you know and it but it all came from grinding with music you know all the outlets that i'm getting now it all came from 
the grind because I feel like if I wasn't doing the music, these things wouldn't have presented themselves. You know what I mean? So I'm definitely a businessman as well. You know what I'm saying? Like the music is just a passion. It's something that I'm going to do regardless. You know, whether I get on or not, I'm going to have some music. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just how it'll go. And it's definitely good. Like you said, you, you're branching out and doing other things too. Like I tell like a lot of artists, even like other DJs, like with me personally, like I don't just DJ. So like I DJ, I got two other jobs. Right. Production. I do mixtape hosting, commercial. Right. It's good to have more than one hustle because like, just just the way that life works something is going to slow down eventually so if you, right. if you produce and you rap when you're rapping slow down like that you can produce if you can't produce then you can song write if you can't song write you can start doing jingles or commercials right. and like that there's a lot of brand in that too a lot of artists don't be knowing jingles that. yeah like a, right. you, you get like a pepsi commercial see or? my man was telling me nike because i met my <laughs> yeah. boy down in all the, this dude named format and he out in miami and he he did beats like a beat i guess or something yeah. for nike and he was just you know he getting free <laughs> boxes of bo jackson sent yeah. to him and check and I was yeah. like, yo, he was like, people don't even think about yeah. making a song for Nike, you know what I'm saying, or yeah. something like that. But they only think about like radio mixtape YouTube like that. But if you get like honestly, if you get a good jingle for like a, a Geico or a Coca Cola like that, like you don't need to put out an album. Right, you never will put out <laughs> <Yeah>. an album. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Unless you just have some passion for it, you know yeah. what I mean? You want to do it, like yeah, that's a fact. But yeah, definitely don't limit yourself to one thing. You know, we we all talented in many more ways than just one thing. And hip hop is supposed. To, if you is a hip hop artist. Or whatever you is You gotta just ride that Until they get you To somewhere To branch off And do other things Definitely Right And is there anything else That they uh, Before we wrap it up Anything else That they uh, need to know About you Or you wanna make sure That people know Yeah man Y'all just gotta know man you Listen it's Dirty O man And it's, it's, I'm, I'm not no one man Army I got a whole team with me man Fourth to North CMF man You know what I mean Like we, we heavy man We gonna be pushing Through all cities This summer So you know Just be prepared To uh, embrace the grind man That's it Definitely, well, man. I appreciate you for coming through. Make sure y'all tune in to all my um, all my shows, all my mix shows like that. Definitely gonna be playing some Dirty O. Got some records coming through, and like you always have my support. No doubt, that. man. So, all love. Appreciate you for coming through. Yeah. Well, it's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected, Mr. I Am Buffalo.